Hello and welcome to our first project. Now in this project, we want to pretend that we're silk flower salespeople. And what we want to do is, since we don't know any JavaScript, try to make our website look a little bit more interactive. So what we want to do is create cl clickable image links on our website, position them nicely on our website, and make it so when we hover over the image, it'll enlarge a little bit. So let's get started so I'm gonna start off by creating a pair of h1 tags and I'm gonna center align them so text align center whoops there we go and oh geez and then silk flowers and I'm also going to change the title to our website to Silk Flowers for Sale, so the tab will look all nice and all, kind of fit the tone of the website. And afterwards, I'm going to create a horizontal rule. Why not? Let's see how this looks. Yep, Silk Flowers for Sale, Silk Flowers, and we have a nice horizontal rule that goes across. So now what we want to do is figure out how to place two images side by side, position them nicely, and make it so when you hover over them they'll enlarge a little bit and when you click them you go somewhere else so let's first first uh, let's do this by creating a table then within the table create it one row and in this example we'll only be selling two silk flowers so only two pieces of data so I'm going to copy this and then paste it here. So first let's mess with the table a little bit because we want to be able to see it and all. So I'm going to make um, the border equal to one pixel, the cell spacing equal to just one, and I'll make the width equal to 500 pixels and I'll make the height uh, you know I'm gonna make the width a little bit longer actually no that's actually good no and I'll make the height mm, 700 pixels because I know the shape of these pictures so they're gonna have to be able to fit in there so let's see how this looks there you go now if we just have the pictures right here, it's not going to be center aligned, so I kind of forgot to do that. So many different attributes. So let's remember to align this table in the center. And now the reason why I made these borders visible was so that we can uh, see exactly where the pictures will end up. Where will where will they go? So I I don't think the height needs to be 700 pic. You know what? I can actually scroll down just a little bit. But the height doesn't need to be 700. I can just make it. I'll make it 600. So I'll refresh the page, and uh, it's still kind of long. But that's all right. So let's create our uh, image links. As you might remember, we just make an image tag like this. And I'm going to add a tooltip. So I'll use the title attribute, and the color for this one will be fuchsia. And then the source for the file will be just uh, I believe it's just the name and the extension so I'll click save on this and we also need anchor tags on either side of the image in order to make it, make it a clickable image then the href for it and I misspelled it will be I'll make that just Google. I don't, I don't have any sites. Then I'm going to copy this whole line and paste it here. And then I'll change this destination to Yahoo. Now this is obviously going to be a different picture. Or a different flower. So I'll name it pink. And of course a different picture as well. And that will be the color for that. So when I press F5 there's our pictures but what use is the table 
if it's not going to center exactly where these images are. So we're going to want to center them. So I'm going to give this table an ID of flowers. I'll just call it flowers. Then, since we're only going to be messing with one page, we don't need to make a cascading style sheet. Notice how I don't have a link tag up here. So, within our header file, I'm going to create an embedded style sheet instead. And then for the type, I'll call text CSS. Well, it's not a thing I'm calling it. It always has to be called this. Then, if you might have remembered, in order to refer to the ID of flowers, we put a pound sign followed by the name of the tag. You know what? I'm going to indent. Then, within our flowers ID, we'll change text align to center. So then when we save these, now it is centered. Now, since we now have the tables perfectly centered and we have the flowers exactly where we want them, well, maybe they're not exactly where we want them. It's it's they're too they're too low. So what we could we, we could do is uh modify the height of the table again. So you know, I'm just going to make it 400. That's actually not where I want them. There you go. That's this is a lot better. Okay. Now we want to uh well, first we don't want these this table here. This is just for visual purposes. So we want to get rid of that border. So uh let's make the border 0. And I don't believe cell spacing will matter at that point. There you go. Well, cell spacing will matter. It would move the images at that point. And if you look down here, there are also links. And you can also see the words pink where I'm hovering. When I hover over here, you see fuchsia. And they are both different links, Yahoo and then Google. So like if I click this, I'd go to Google. If I go this, I'll go to Yahoo. So we want to make it so... Well, they pop out a bit. So, in order to do this, we're going to have to create an ID or a class. You know what? This time, I think I'll create a class. So, in each of the image files, I'll call it class pop-up. Even though it's not really a pop-up, but class pop-up. I'll click save, and then in this file, I'll type in dot pop-up then we can mess with the width and the height so the width of this file I believe is 400 pixels by or it's 400 by 500 so I kinda go by the 10 percent rule well there isn't really a rule it's just something that I do so 10 percent of 40 for, or 400 is 40 so I'll make the width 440 pixels then for the height uh, which is 500 if you add 10 percent of that that should be 550 pixels oh and I kinda of forgot to do something here I wanna make this hover of course you're gonna wanna hover over um, you don't want it to become bigger until you hover over it so if I refresh the page well the heck with that 10%. Oh, I know why. It's because the border is modifying the images. It's, it's because uh, it's actually becoming that 400 by 500. See, it's not 400 by 500 in there. Holy mackerel. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, make this a lot smaller. 220. And what what is half of that? I, I'm, in, I'm a freaking calc and physics nerd, and I don't know what half of that is. Uh, 275? Maybe that would be nicer. There you go. That, that's a lot better. And, uh, yeah, then using the table, you can position this wherever you want. And, uh, th yeah, that's, that's just about it. You can also use division tags as well, the DIV tags, which I will be using in the next project. So, yeah, that's, that's it.